Hi, my name is Megan Suter. I'm a kinesiologist in Worcester, BC, and I focus on mountain sport performance, injury rehabilitation, and injury prevention. Today, I'm gonna to show you three barbell moves that are essential for a gym program if you are a backcountry user. So we're gonna go over a Romanian deadlift, we're gonna work on some lunges, and also incorporating some rowing for some upper back strength. For the Romanian deadlift exercise, we wanna make sure that we're focusing on lengthening and strengthening the hamstrings and also building some strength and resiliency in the glutes, which helps to support our lower back. So a common complaint I hear is that your back hurts really bad at the end of the day. And sometimes that's because we don't have strong enough glutes and our hamstrings are doing a little too much work, but they're a little too short. So this is a great exercise to hit both of those issues. Also works your core, of course. We always gotta do core. So with your Romanian deadlift, you wanna pick up safely from the floor, Starting at the top, feet about shoulder width apart. Tall posture, really lock the core, keeping the ribs connected down. We're gonna hinge forward with a flat back, stretch the hamstrings, squeeze the glutes through to the top. So I want you to just stop wherever you feel that flexibility stop in your hamstrings, any pushing past that, and you're just really gonna get into your lower back. So thinking about a nice, strong, controlled lower, bar staying close to the shins, getting a good stretch, and then pressing through with your glutes. Always keeping the core tight as well. You want to make sure you're not arching your back as you send your hips back. If you think about locking down your ribs, keeping this connected, you're going to also build a really strong and resilient core. So for our lunge variation that we're going to do today, we're going to incorporate actually two lunges into one. So we're going to focus on doing a step forward lunge and then going into a step back lunge. Reason being, when we're going up the mountain, we're using both legs independently. So we want to make sure that we alternate that power leg. So think about it this way, stepping forward, power in the front leg, as you step back, alternates to power in the other front leg, right? So we're going right leg here, left leg as we go back. You'll do a full set on one side, and then swap and do a full set on the other side. And my favorite mode of putting weight on is with the barbell. So I'm finding with, if you're holding dumbbells low, it doesn't really mimic carrying a backpack. So having a back rack position with the barbell is usually the best way to do it. So find the comfortable spot below your neck, squeeze your shoulder blades together. I want you to lift up, keeping that tension, stepping forward, bracing your core. So having that weight above your hips really makes your core work nice and hard, which as we know, we definitely need in the backcountry. So we're basically working everything here from the shoulders down to the legs. Next up, we have the barbell row. And this is a bit more of an advanced row, but I absolutely love this, especially for the backcountry, for a few different reasons. One, it creates a lot of resiliency and endurance in your back. From basically your shoulder blades all the way down to your lower back, because we're holding position, you're building so much endurance all up and down the spine. Also works your core. So you're holding yourself in position, creating stability through your obliques and your deep core to support your spine from the front also. And then lastly, we're bringing it into the mid back, really helping to set the shoulder blades so that when we're carrying a backpack, we're not shrugging up into the neck and shoulders. It's a very common complaint is we get really tight here, really uncomfortable. We wanna make sure that our mid back's strong to carry the load. So setting up with your feet under the bar, hands a little bit wider than your feet, about slightly wider than shoulder width, flat back, neutral spine. You're gonna set the shoulder blades, roll up to the rib cage, hold and back down. Again, driving with the elbows, squeeze the shoulder blades together, focusing on not rolling up and forward or shrugging to the neck. I want you to think pull through the mid back, setting the shoulder blades to get the most out of this exercise. I hope you enjoyed learning about these three barbell exercises. I also should say, if you're worried about using barbells in the gym, don't be scared of them. They're very useful tools, especially for practicing carrying loads into the backcountry, hiking, anything that you need to do. So don't be scared, get in there, use these tips, and I know you'll rock it.